Hey, what's going on guys? It's a maintenance kid here again. Uh, bringing you another maintenance video. Um, today, uh, we're at the pool. Right. And uh, yesterday we pulled the, the cover back. Uh, well, really we pulled about halfway yesterday. Um, we threw some shock in and started the uh, opening process. And uh, when we started, I wish I would have taken a video when we first started. It um, it was a straight swamp, right? Like algae was growing all over the walls, on the floors, you know, everywhere. So that's nothing. Um, that's nothing too exciting. It usually happens every year. But um, but how we got to this point was in, kind of interesting. So. Uh, we uh we do most of our work you know in-house but uh every once in a while we'll for a big project we'll we'll get you know an outside company to come help us out um and uh the pool company that we had out was uh resurfacing the pool they were sanding everything down making it all smooth last year and um because it was uh after people got in the water for a long time their feet got soft and the and the uh and the floors and walls started uh, cutting their feet up. The plaster was sharp and whatnot. So we, we had to get it sanded out and buffed out. So uh, so we resolved that issue. And the same week, corporate was here. And they asked us, who's going to open your pool this year? And we're like, well, us, of course. That's what we've been doing for the past three years. Um, that's what we're going to do this year. And they were like, no. Want you to get someone out and and open it for you. We were like fantastic. So the guys who were here told us to go ahead and call up there and get you know put a bug in their ear and let them know and that we're going to want them to be opening our pool this year. And so we did. Then we called back in sometime in November to schedule you know a more accurate date. And we got, you know, a week set up. And then we verified again, I guess it was probably February, to make sure everything was still was still A1 and rocking and rolling. At that time, they said that we weren't on the schedule. So that automatically raised an eyebrow for us. Well, it was supposed to be done next week by them but so we called again this uh monday to make sure and verify and we're not on the schedule again and they said that they don't want to open it for us this year and so uh here we are um opening the pool ourselves again so yes like i said yesterday we pulled the tarp back about halfway and uh shocked the pool got everything rocking and rolling on it and uh, you know it might look nice in the picture in the video but it's very cloudy right like here's my pole see you see how cloudy that is you should be able to see our two drains right here there's supposed to be two drains so like one right here and then maybe one over here but so it wouldn't be able to be open today but uh but yeah, so we're just getting the jump start on it. We shocked it. Now we're going to uh, scrub all the walls down. Um, the the algae side has taken care of most of the algae on the walls and on the tile. But yet we're just gonna you know run our brush like this. That we're gonna have to do for the same every morning for the next three months all the way around the pool and um, after we get a good clean on it we're gonna run it through a little backwash cycle you know bring it down a little ways and then fill it on up but uh but yeah I'm not sure why they wanted someone else to open it you know they paid they paid for my CPO license and my supervisor's CPO license so they have people that'll do it so I'm just not sure. 
but um, you know, I was happy when we heard it. You know, I mean, it takes some work off of us. You know, uh, but uh, but you know, we could do it. We'll get it done. But yep, that's an update of the pool. Yep, it's cloudy, but it's not green like it was yesterday. You see our tarp over there. You couldn't tell the difference from where the where the tarp stopped and where the open water was uh, was exposed yesterday. It was so green. But um, but yeah, I'm a I'm gonna get more into the technical side of the pools this year and um, show you like what shock we use, you know, what clear fire, what. Um, you know all the chemicals that we use when and of course I'm gonna try to show you guys why you know we're gonna test the pool uh, ideally test it uh, or as required three times a day mr. pigeon well uh, yeah so usually we'll get some ducks after as soon as we open the pool usually we'll get some ducks or something that'll be in the pool some turtles or something so be on the lookout for the for the for the wildlife but um yeah i'm gonna get back to it i'm gonna get back to scrubbing these walls down making them all clean like i said then we're gonna backwash drain it down a little bit and fill it back up and that'll definitely take care of some of these uh the cloudiness right because the cloudiness is is just a ton of TDS, which is total dissolved solids, which is everything from, you know, completely dissolved blossom cases to sticks to leaves to, uh, we had some kid throw in an orange over the winter. It was sitting on top of the pool tarp. Um, we wanted to leave it open all year, but, um, but some people didn't go through the CPO class and uh, they don't know that you could do that. And for some reason, um, people who are not qualified to do something decide what gets done. So, so we got to do what the boss says. So we had to cover it up and, uh, and just let it get all murky and, and green. And if you leave it open all year, one, you won't have the hassle of covering it every year. And, and uncovering it but two you can maintain it right uh, with it covered up you can't maintain the pool at all and all it does is it's just a, a swamp right it's a cesspool so um, so ideally I, I would like to have left the pool open and if I was in the position to make a decision I would require everyone here to because um, it don't get cold enough to freeze the pipes uh, typically, you know, but um, I'm sure that there's some cases, but nevertheless, um, yep. So this is just an update of the pool. I wanted, to, yeah, just wanted to show you guys what we were doing. An update of the pool. Thanks for watching the Maintenance Kids channel. Uh, you could like, comment, and subscribe down on the bottom, and you could hit that bell, and uh, you'll get notifications every time I upload a video. Um, I'm not gonna blow your stuff up. I'm gonna try to, uh, you know, post maybe like once a week. Um, with, uh, with me having the option to, you know, do videos with the pool, i be out here every day. So, uh, yeah, we're going to see some pool videos and how we maintain it. Right. So, so be on the lookout for those. Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, it's, uh, it's Friday. We made it to Friday. Uh, I don't remember whenever I did the first video uh, in this in this full length video, um, but uh, but yeah, so we made it to Friday. And the past few days, we've been uh, all these little balls have the lights that are around the pool. Um, we took them off and cleaned them up yesterday, um, and then we're pressure washing the fence and we started over here by this table and we worked all the way around to this side um, we're gonna keep on going all the way around right and then um, when we get back over there we're gonna hit the the furniture all the furniture right so we got a table and it averages out to be four like lounge chairs 
and a table on each side and then uh, tables in the corners um, with umbrellas which are over here in this pile um, these are all our ladders uh, we have two ladders that go in the deep end on either side and then a handrail that goes um, into the steps but um but yeah so as you can tell the pool it is clearing up we've been shocking it and um yep trying to bounce her back um yeah so uh we had we had some rain uh yesterday um so he's a little higher than what we like to keep her but but that's okay um like I said, we're shocking this. Uh, I don't know how well you can see. My, it's so bright out here. I can't see the screen. But, um, but yeah, it's all clearing up. Uh, you remember in the last video, or really I guess not the last video, a few minutes ago in the video, you know, all this was all green. Um, you know, we, we hit it with the scrub brush all the way around. Um, and, uh, you know, shocked it. And... Uh, boom so she's bouncing back uh, there is some more work to be done here so uh, like I said this this isn't an overnight process you know uh, pressure washing um, it's it's tedious you know you got to do each you know row you know each bar and um, but yeah so we're gonna work our way on around mosey on over there hit the furniture and then I'm hoping that we could talk our uh, manager into investing in an attachment for our pressure washer to uh, to pressure wash the deck a little bit um, and we're gonna uh, retape this line uh, retape it and repaint this line um, that we put around the pool but um but yep so we do have work cut out for us it's bright you know it's hot but um but yep, it's coming together and we're getting her done. So, uh, until my next uh, clip of this video, be safe. <laughs> Oops. Alright guys, we're back here at the pool. We went ahead and drained them all out. And uh, cleaned it all up, pressure washed it, uh, scrubbed it down. Tried to take out all the smallest little, um, uh, you know, stains that we could. So as you can tell, she's filling up now. I really can't tell how uh, good the video quality is. Uh, it's super bright out here. Um, I don't know what it is about this white plaster that's uh, banking all the sun off. Um, so I definitely recommend wearing sunglasses if you're out by uh, a drain pool. It seems almost worse than if it had water in it. But, uh, but yep. Went ahead and drained it. We took off, uh, let's see. Yeah, you can see it. There's like a drain here and somewhere up in this direction, there's another one. But uh, we took them off and uh, cleaned out the drain down in the bottom. Uh, like, uh, you know, I'm CPO certified and in the, in the class they, they talk about uh, why you have to have at least two main drains. And, uh, that's because back in the day, they had one drain and had some kids sit down on the drain and uh, suck them in and not wasn't able to get out. So, so you got to split the the you know split the pressure up that suction up within uh, two drains so that if one's completely clogged, the other one will still pull water in and uh, little ones won't get sucked in. Uh, because like when we when we set it into uh, into uh, the the vacuum mode, we we vacuum it from this one, and uh, when you check it, you don't put your hand flat on. You have to you know check to make sure it's pulling by keeping your hand straight down. If not, your hands will get sucked down in there real. And uh, like I said, it's a powerful pump. We have a five horsepower pump that uh, pumps this. Yeah, like I said, it's a 52,000 gallon pool. Uh, it's a 50 foot by 50 foot. Uh huh. And uh, 
it goes from three feet to five feet so you got the average of four so but yeah about a 52,700 or so gallon pool but uh, I'll get back familiar with all the measurements and stuff uh, once we get this thing full and uh, start putting chemicals in it because on the packaging you know it says to add this much chemical for this much this many gallons of pool and you know you just figure out how many of the uh, of what's on the bottle goes into your pool and then you multiply that number by by the ounces or whatever or or tablespoons or whatever measurement they give you and then boom now you got proper chemical in here right but uh but yep uh it's hard to explain i guess that's why they have a, a class for it but uh but yep like i said she's starting the filling process now it'll uh it'll take a, a while but see since we're at a uh like a public pool like a privately owned but public pool uh we're not allowed to have hose pipes pushing water in we have to we have to run it through the through the jets which obviously give you more much more water anyway but uh that's another big thing that they tell you in the class you can't do but yep this is our pool and like i said i'll uh probably do another video about halfway you know and then do another video when it's full but yeah that was it wasn't supposed to go like this but uh some of the things were just so bad and uh we went ahead and ran a bead of caulk like right along above the above the tile just below the coping right this is the coping this is the pool deck and we have a painted line that goes right in the middle of them so and we're going to retouch up that line here uh, we pressure wash the fence right was doing that last time uh but yeah i was pressure washing the fence now we pressure wash the whole pool uh focus on some really tough stains that we had some that we're just we just have to leave them there all right guys we back here at the pool we got it looking nice and clean cleaned up filled up we getting the levels right, balancing everything, and uh, maintaining that balance. And then uh, here in a couple weeks, it's gonna be pool season. The gate's gonna be open. But uh, yep, we just hit it with the first clean since it's been full. Um, yeah, so we got three poles. Uh, let's see. Can you see that? Like this right here is like a double pole that extends and like the little knot in the middle. But from here down, we have another pole screwed to it because uh, when we're standing here, we can only get, you know, out to here. And so then we end up with an island right in the middle, which is uh, not a good look. So, uh, so yep, she's all clean everywhere. Um, we put the ladders in on both sides. Put the handrail in on both sides. We got all the umbrellas up. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna repaint this line because uh, you see there's some trouble areas where it you know delaminated itself. But, uh, but yeah, and then we're going to get a pressure wash on the deck and the fence is getting clean. Uh, oh, back to work. Hey guys, what's going on? It's a maintenance kid here again. Uh, it's Saturday before uh, Memorial Day. Um, we're going to open the pool up on Memorial Day. Um, I, uh, I just had to come open a clubhouse for, for a resident, so 
figured I'd go ahead and wrap this video up. Uh, we ran out of time, but uh, but you know, pool looks good. It's listening, it's completely cleaned out. Um, we re we repainted this uh, blue stripe that goes all the way around the pool. Um, we power washed and uh, and painted uh, our fence all the way around. Um, we had intentions on getting all the furniture cleaned up because. Um, you know, the elements hit these uh, chairs and it's not, you know, the best site, but, you know, um, but yep, so this is our pool, 2019 season open up uh, in two days, so, um, yep, the water's crystal clear, boy, yep. So uh, hopefully we have a good season this year. Hopefully, uh, you know, everyone does what they're supposed to do and this season goes smooth. We already had kids throwing rocks in the pool this year. I don't know what this is. Looks like one of those little magnets, you know, on a uh, necklace or something. So I don't know. Oh, and an update, we are going to get these uh, trees removed. One, two, three, four, five uh, trees removed. Uh, they uh, they shed in the pool all the time. Leaves for a quarter of the year. Um, the seeds the other quarter of the year. The leaves the next quarter. And then the bark the next quarter. So all year long, they're constantly shedding down into our pool. And wrecking havoc on our, uh, on our equipment. So... We're going to alleviate that, and, um, yep, we're going to have a great pool season this year. So, uh, thanks for watching the Maintenance Kid channel. Uh, you can like, comment, and subscribe down on the bottom uh, for all your maintenance videos. Uh, this is a little different video. Um, like I said, you know, we watched us open the pool up this year. Um, you know, it's not an overnight process, you know. Uh, don't expect to come out and have your pool open, you know, 24, 48 hours after you decide to start, you know, working on it. But, um, but we got it right and uh, all the levels are right. The water level is right. Um, you know, like I said, we're going to have a pretty smooth uh, pool season this year, we hoping. So, but yep, like I said, like, comment, and subscribe down on the bottom. And I'll be posting all the maintenance videos I'd like to uh, post about once a week.